Let us take another example where we have to find out the unknown value x and y and it is given to you that L and M are parallel lines. So L and M are parallel lines and we have to use the properties of parallel lines and angles to find out the values of x and y. So what are these unknown values x and y? What is given to us is that this angle here is 100 and this angle here is 80 degrees. Now if these two lines are parallel then we can use the property of corresponding angles to find out the value of x. So L and M are parallel lines so we can say that A is a transversal. If A is a transversal then we can say that x is equal to 100 degrees and we are using the property of corresponding angles. So x is equal to 100 L parallel to M this is the transversal so these are the corresponding angles corresponding angles are equal so we can say x is 100 that is the first part of the question. Now the second part also asks us to find out this unknown value that is y. So how do we find y? See here x and y are lying on a straight line on this line M and we know that when two angles lie on a straight line that is called a linear pair and linear pair total will always give us 180. So we can say that x plus y is equal to 180. We are using the linear pair property and we will substitute the value of x because x value we have already found out and that value is 100. So we get 100 plus y is 180 degrees. Therefore the value of y will be 180 minus of 100. Therefore we get y value as 80 degrees. So the two unknowns were there. We have easily found out the two x we have found out by using corresponding angle property. So we have found out this angle x as 100 degrees and this angle y we have found out by using the linear pair axiom. We know that x and y will give you a total of 180. So y will be 180 minus of 100. So we found the value of y as 80 degrees.